Welcome back to the Red Carpet Ria. Today we're diving into the heated drama between Erica Mina and Safari Samuels. Erica recently called out Safari for launching a back-to-school drive for Jamaican kids, accusing him of neglecting his own children in the process. But social media had a lot to say about Erica's comments, and it wasn't all in her favor. Let's break it down. On Monday, August 12th, Safari announced a back-to-school drive for kids in the Waterhouse District of Kingston, Jamaica, following the devastation caused by Hurricane Beryl. He shared a video explaining that he's funding this initiative out of his own pocket and urged others to donate as well. Safari seemed genuinely committed to helping these children, saying, I'ma do whatever I could do to help this community. Listen, right now I'm in Waterhouse, Kingston, Jamaica, and um, at the end of this month, I'm going to be doing a, a giveaway, a give back, back to school, back to life, everything and anything possible that I could think of that they may possibly need. That's what I'm doing. Um, it's, it's needed. If you somebody who know me and you want to reach out, you want to do something to help donate anything, I'm taking this money out of my pocket. I'm going to do whatever I could do to help this community. And um, if you want to help, hit me up, DM me. If you know me, text me. And I'm gonna make this one of the biggest, biggest give backs that White House has ever seen. So, um, you know, they need a lot. And anything that I could do, I feel like I'm gonna do it, you know? So this is the living conditions and everything can be fixed right away. But these kids, everybody here, they just- Short sure here. What's my name? Oh. My name? Short sure here. No, no, my name is not short sure here. All right. I'm gonna see when I get back. All right. Bye. Bye. Where's, she said, "Where's my money?" Hey, rum blood. Make hey, make sure you put money in her hand because she was asking where's her money. Don't worry. Look at her hand. Look at her hand now. Yeah. Now you my friend. <laughs> the very next day, Erica Mina went on Instagram Live to blast Safari. She accused him of being a deadbeat father pointing out that he missed a significant milestone in their daughter's life, her first day of pre-K. Erica didn't hold back, expressing her frustration that while she's feeling guilty about missing her daughter's big day because of work, Safari is out here pretending to care about other people's children. But here's where things get interesting. Social media didn't exactly rally behind Erica. Instead, many users slammed her for constantly dragging Safari online comments ranged from calling her out for trying to get the internet involved in her personal issues to advising her to focus on her own life and let Safari's actions speak for themselves. One user even said, if he's such a bad dad, sorry to say, but let him be that. His karma will come around. This situation is a prime example of how airing personal grievances on social media can backfire. While Erica may have valid concerns about Safari's involvement in their children's lives, Public outbursts like these often lead to more backlash than support. So before you guys get scammed like I did <laughs> by this waste man overnight wannabe prophet, this individual has no idea that his children has have actually started school. Yeah, your daughter is officially in pre-K and started yesterday. And here I am feeling guilty because I wasn't there due to work. And while I'm feeling guilty, motherfuckers is out here trying to make the world believe that they actually have a charity because they care about other people's children. How can you care about anybody else's children when you don't even care about your own? You miss out on birthdays by choice. You miss out on Christmas by choice, all because you think missing out in their lives makes me suffer. Wake up call. I could fill in for you at any time and I've proven that. But your non-existence in my children's life does not make me miserable. It actually has helped me progress so much. But now you're on the internet playing with my kids because you don't even do for them unless it's something that's taken out of your little measly child support. I gotta sit back and watch my kids 
literally suffer already as it is because you're their daddy. While you play with other people's children and you don't even notice that your daughter has started school yesterday and you probably could have been the parent to fill in the void and at least made it so she had one of us in the building for that big moment. Don't be scam, y'all. No way in hell this man cares about other people's children when he doesn't even acknowledge the existence of his own. And I'm gonna just leave it right there because this man loves to run to the police and claim that I'm bullying him. So we'll leave it at that. But don't be scammed and don't be fooled because literally my kids go months and months and months at a time without this man even asking if they need anything or if they're even alive. In fact, when his homies ask how their kids are, his very statement is, I haven't heard anything. I guess they're still alive since they're not on the news. That's the type of man y'all dealing with. So y'all could believe this. I want to feed the children bullshit if y'all want to. But remember who y'all dealing with. This is the same man that literally runs from doing anything for his own children. What do you think? Is Erica right to call out Safari? Or should she handle this privately? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exclusive content from the Red Carpet Reup. See you in the next one.